हेलो स्टूडेंट सो हेयर वी आर विद द थर्ड क्वेश्चन ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज 1.2 फॉर द चैप्टर रियल नंबर्स सो द क्वेश्चन थर्ड इज फाइंड द एलसीएम एंड द एचसीएफ ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इंटीजर्स बाय अप्लाइंग द प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन मेथड एंड द थ्री नंबर्स हैव बीन प्रोवाइडेड इन पार्ट ए बी एंड सी सो नाउ लेट अस कम टू द ए पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन हियर द नंबर्स प्रोवाइडेड आर 12 15 एंड 21 Starting it with the number twelve and performing the prime factorization for this number, twelve can be represented as two raised by two into three, and the number fifteen will be equal to three into five. The number twenty-one will be equal to three times and seven. And now they have asked to find the LCM and the HCF of these integers. and as we know lcm is the product of the unique prime factors involved in all these three numbers that is 12 15 and 21 in this case raised to their maximum power so here the unique numbers that is unique prime factors of the three numbers are 2 into 3 into 5 into 7 and these prime factors are raised to their maximum power and the maximum power of 2 is 2 for 3 is 1 5 is 1 and for 7 is also 1 and if we do the product of these four terms it comes out to be equal to 420 and for the hcf hcf is a product of the common prime factors involved in the three numbers 12 15 and 21 and the common prime factor which we can see in all these three numbers is 3 only raised to its minimum power and the minimum power in this case is 1 so the hcf comes out to be equal to 3 now coming to the b part of this question here the b part numbers provided are 17 23 and 29 and as we can see that all these three numbers are prime numbers itself and the prime numbers can be represent as a product of the numbers Itself into one, so fifteen seventeen will be equal to seventeen into one. Twenty three will be equal to twenty three into one, and twenty nine will be equal to twenty nine into one. And for the LCM, it is the product of the unique prime factors of all the three numbers. So the unique prime factors are seventeen, twenty three, and twenty nine. Are raised to their maximum power. For the seventeen, the maximum power is one. For twenty-three is one, and for the twenty-nine is also one. And if we do the mathematical calculation of these three terms, the LCM comes out to be equal to eleven thousand three hundred thirty-nine. And now we are required to ask the HCF. So the HCF is the product of the common prime factors involved in all the three numbers, and the only common prime factor. Which we can see in all the three number is one, so HCF will be equal to one, which will be raised to its minimum power. Here the minimum power is also one, so one raised to the power one is equal to one. Now coming to the C part of the question, here the numbers provided are eight, nine, and twenty-five. Performing the prime factorization for the number eight, eight will be equal to two raised to the three. Nine will be equal to three raised by two, and twenty-five will be equal to five raised by two. Or we can say eight is equal to two raised by three into one. Three raised by two into one is equal to nine, and five raised by two into one will be equal to twenty-five. Now for the LCM, it is the product of the unique prime factors involved in the numbers eight, nine, and twenty-five. So the unique prime factors are two, three, and five. Raised to the maximum power, so the maximum power are three, two, and two. And for the HCF, it is the product of the common prime factor involved in all the three numbers, and the only prime factor which we can see common in the number eight, nine, and twenty-five is only one. Raised to its minimum power, so the answer comes out to be one. That is, one raised to the power one is equal to one. So this was all about the question third of the exercise 1.2 I hope this question is clear to all of you